What's up guys, your boy Jay Fishy here. And uh, today guys, I'm coming back out to uh, actually a spot that's treated me well in the past. And actually it's probably one of my first videos to ever uh, reach uh, a good amount of views. We're back at uh, Fort DeSoto Pier right now. Uh, unfortunately though, I don't have um, live bait. I, uh, I only have cut bait. Uh, so I got some frozen greenback that I've had for a couple of days now and uh, I'm pretty much trying to get rid of it. So I just said, hey, let me go see if I can get some snappers on it. Even if I don't get a keeper, it'd be fun to just see what's around. I haven't been to this pier since that video. So it's been about probably close to six months, honestly, since I've been out here. So uh, I don't really know what it's been like recently. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can get. See if we have any luck with this uh, cup bait. Not too sure. Give it a shot right here. Let's see if we get luck. A little bit of shade from the chair. Yeah, yeah guys, all we got is this uh, frozen green back. Let's see if it does any luck. Look this because the birds are crazy here. Ain't forgetting that. Chum it up a little. Just gonna basically freeline this cup bait down there. I wish I had live bait, but let's see. So, cut me. I put a heavier egg sinker on now. Let's see if it'll stay. I doubt it. Still doesn't. It's a lot better, but. So. Something too small, though. Probably pinfish or something. Is this a grouper? I think this is a grouper. Guys, let me know down there. I think this is a baby grouper. My first ever baby grouper. Let's see. I don't know what this is. It just has a big mouth. Look at that. Anyways, getting back in there. Alright, we got the skunk off the boat. Some action is better than no action. You guys let me know what that was. Could have been a grunt, I guess. I think that's another uh, species that's out here a lot. Oh, the heavier weight is working though. It's probably getting it down there where it needs to be. Alright. Just had another little bite, so. I thought he took it, but I guess he didn't. Thing is, I'm not gonna hit bottom here, that's for sure. I think I got him. What do we got here? Ah, 
Look at that little pretty thing. This is a lean snapper. I know that for sure. A little snappy snappy. Look at that, guys. The small ones are out. The big ones got to be in there. Oof. What a pretty little fish. Wow, that guy is pretty. Look at that. Look at the colors on him. Looks freaking awesome. I think this is a lean. Actually, this might be a mutton. Oh no, there's a spot. I think it's a lean. Anyways, get back in there. Come on, give me a good bite. Give me a good bite. Checking something. Uh, I think they're checking. Uh, looks like they might be checking for people that have too many rods. Oh no, they're going for the pelican. Yeah, somebody hooked a pelican earlier. Looks like they're, uh, they put them in a trash bag. I think that's to uh, keep them calm. Not sure, but I think that's what that's for. Yeah, here they come with a big old pelican. <laughs> oh no. Looks like he's wrapped up bad. So I guess that's what you do here. I didn't even know that. I guess what you do is, if you happen to wrap up a pelican, you just call the park rangers and they'll come help them out. That's pretty cool. Can't say I didn't catch a snapper. I told you guys, I think that was a lane. Might have been a mountain, I'm not sure. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I know when they're juvenile, they both look very similar, so. You can see. Huh? You can see sheephead. Sheephead? Really? Yeah. Here. By the piling? Oh, here. <laughs> Yo, you guys got crabs? Yeah, they'll, we have a crab. Yeah, they'll eat crab. Yeah. <laughs> oh, check it. Check it, 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 Well, they kind of took my spot there. They're trying to get a sheep's head off that fouling. That's fine with me. Let me go on this side. Let me see if I have any luck here. Oh, there's some little bites. Hey! <laughs> They ended up getting a little sheep's head. <laughs> Too small? That's small. Small. Uh, yeah. yeah, at least you got one. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cast a little further out. See if they're anywhere out there. Don't want to go too far because of the structure as we've seen earlier. Either way, the current's gonna bring it towards me anyway, so. Never know, maybe I'll get a little bycatch here. I really wanna get it out there in that structure, I'm telling you guys, but I just don't wanna keep losing my leaders for no reason. <laughs> Look, my bait's already around. What the heck is that? It feels so weird. Oh, I do have something. Let's go. What do you got here? 
A bycatch. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, guys. Pretty little trout. How far is it? Oh, it's not that far. I'll get my little... Uh, it's way too small. Let's go, though. Got a nice little catch here. Trying not to puncture your stuff. speckled trout. I think you guys can see it. Get back in buddy. Let's go. We swam away. <laughs> Come on. Hey guys. Little uh, snapper, a little trout. I can't complain. I'm having a good time out here. Uh, and yeah, I pretty much casted that way out too. That trout actually swam away. Luckily, I learned that little trick, guys. Uh, if you go like around their gills, right there. Um, if you go around those gills, uh, you can unhook the hook without having to rip out their insides which is something good to know because uh you could save some fish Let's see if we can get another one Thank you. I took them hey i'm having fun my bait's getting wasted can't say i'm uh, not enjoying myself guys i'm having a good time out here uh especially you know i wasn't even planning on fishing i just decided to stop by so Having chunk bait, I can't complain at all. <laughs> that little trout was pretty fun. And yeah, I still gotta look up to see if that was a what kind of snapper that was. Oop. Make sure your bait's not mushy, guys, because if it's mushy, it's gonna rip right off. I will say these people here pretty much stole my spot. <laughs> but hey, that's fine for me. I don't have crabs for uh sheep's head anyway, so. I was basically just attempting to cast down there for a little snapper. Didn't have much luck though, so I don't mind. They said they've been here for a while, they haven't caught nothing. They can have the spot. I already have a couple, they were here before me, so I already got a couple of snapper and um, a trout, so. Well, it finally happened to me. <laughs> My battery died uh, for the first time on the GoPro while I was out there recording. So that's very unfortunate, uh, but I didn't catch anything else, guys. What I'm gonna do though, is uh, go to the other pier because they have two piers, uh, Fort DeSoto. I didn't know that actually. Um, so the other one, I think just got reopened about a couple months ago now. So I'm gonna go uh, test it out. Pretty uh, happy and content with what I already caught considering that and uh, yeah. Let's see what else I catch. No way, guys. I'm just sitting here in the car taking a little uh, breather, having a little uh, bubbly. But uh, I, I was looking back through the footage because I, I remember I was I had that uh, that weird um, fish that I thought was a snapper, and I'm looking it up, and um, I believe that's a black sea bass. So that'd be my first ever black sea bass. That's pretty cool. Um, in the moment, I didn't know what it was. Um, I thought sea bass didn't have teeth, and uh, I was looking at him, and he looked like he had little serrated teeth. So. Uh, maybe they do have teeth. I don't know much about them uh, Considering that's the first one I ever caught but hey, let's go a new uh, species and the other uh, snapper I believe was a lane snapper. I guess they um when they're sometimes they come a little lighter because the ones I was catching back at the other spot I'm telling you they were a lot more red. So I got a uh, new species today at least so that's pretty cool That just completely made uh, my trip and day worth it. I had never caught one of those pretty sick But uh, anyways, let me take my little break and uh, I'll see you guys back on uh, one of the piers all right guys well, we're at the other pier Let's see if i have any luck i guess this pier has like a little ferry seems like the ferry uh, takes you somewhere i wonder where Let's see if we can get something we already got three species on the day <laughs> I guess I could go to that point. Like I said, guys, I'm not really targeting anything in specific today. I'm fishing for whatever bites around this pier, guys. All right. Well, 
being that it's so shallow here. Let me try this side. I see bait, a lot of it too. Try this little corner here. Little corner popping. The little cup bait. Let's see. There we go. Got him. <laughs> what I tell you guys? Little pinfish. Wow. This is a beautiful size pinfish. If I was a, uh, if I had anything to throw a live bait out, this would be the one. There you go. Hey, buddy. I always get them confused, guys. Anyways, get back in there, little buddy. Oh. <laughs> um, there we go, guys. Another little fish. It's good to know, mainly because let's say one day I want to come out here or I want to go to Skyway, which is right over there. Come here first, grab some pinfish, and head to Skyway and, you know, fish for something better. So that's what I'm always saying. It's always good to explore and Guys, they come up like right here. Look, there he is. Wow, it's a freaking bunch of them. Oh, what is this? There it is. Oh no, what is this? This is not a pinfish. Here we go, another species here. Is this a freaking huge mahara? I don't know what this is, guys. I think it is a pinfish, just like a weird colored pinfish. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I think it is a pinfish, it's just different colored. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man, micro species fishing is so fun sometimes. Got the last piece on here. Look at this, guys. Look at that big old cargo ship. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's a nice view. Like I said, the sunset's pretty much hidden today. But, uh, yeah. Oh, did I actually hook? I think I actually hooked one, guys. <laughs> Look at that. The last piece of chunk bait. Finally got one. <laughs> As I was looking at the cargo ship, I didn't even realize it. Look at this pinfish. Biggest one of the day, I say that. Finally, I got one of y'all. I knew there was a couple big ones out there, guys. This one's a real nice size. Get a nice snook off of this guy. There it is, guys. Look at that. Little pretty pinfish. Get back in there, buddy. All right. Well, that was the last piece of trunk bait. I was really just going to show you guys the cargo ship. I didn't expect to hook up, but hey, hooking up on the last cast, guys. Gotta love it. All right. Let me uh, clean up real quick, wash my hands, and uh, we're going to get out of here. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. Sun's pretty much gone behind those clouds. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy that kind of fishing. I know a lot of people don't and uh, I understand that it's um It's not for everybody really uh, You know some people think it's boring uh, But hey I seen a bunch of sheep's head here and some snook. So that's good to know too cuz hey, maybe next time I'll bring a, a Nice circle hook and throw one of those pinfish on there you never know a lot of people throw pretty much everything they have at snook but live bait works the best sometimes so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit for a little bit of outro. Just a little quick outro. Uh, you guys seen it? Came to Fort DeSoto. Kind of just an unexpected trip. Uh, wasn't really targeting anything in specific. I would have loved to get some snapper. Uh, last time, actually no, last time I used live shrimp. So I didn't even come out here and get snapper with it. But I have caught snapper with cut bait. So I figured if anything was around the pier uh, like snapper, I would have uh, caught him. But hey. Wasn't uh, fortunate enough to get the snapper, but I did get a couple of bycatches, which were pretty cool, um, including the black sea bass um, and the trout. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. I know it's a little uh, slow kind of fishing. Uh, a lot of people don't, you know, really consider it good fishing. But hey, we came out here and gave it a shot. Uh, that's what it matters, guys. You always got to go out and try. That's what I tell myself every time. I'm like, when I don't feel like going, and I'm like, man, I might not get nothing. I always tell myself, hey, if you don't try. You ain't gonna uh, see if you got something or not. So like they say, guys, you miss uh, 100% of the chances you don't take. And uh, with that, 
Uh, I wanted to say uh, thank you guys so, so much for all the support and uh, all the interactions you guys are doing with my videos. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I know I always say this, but uh, you guys are the best. Uh, thank you for watching my videos and uh, subscribing. We finally hit 100 subscribers. And guys, I really, really thank you guys because uh, it's just I could see the growth of my channel. And uh, I'm so glad and so fortunate that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm making. And uh, I hope to keep doing that. Um, I pretty much posted some nice videos now with the GoPro. Uh, I can show you guys a little more of the action when I when I uh, get hooked on or like how I'm casting and everything like that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. Before this gets any longer, uh, I hope you guys uh, have a blessed week. I hope you guys have the best luck out there fishing. Remember guys, always stay positive no matter what. No matter what anybody says guys, you gotta stay positive. Um, keep those good vibes uh, going around and uh, that's how positivity starts, guys. But uh, yeah, until next time, peace.